So this is part four of making a cat in Blender. This is a series that I've been doing where we're gonna make a complete cat character, um, all the way from modeling through to rigging, fur, all that sort of stuff. And what you can see now is the model that we have already in a previous part, UV unwrapped, okay? So that means it's ready for texture painting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our uh, texture painting workspace over here at the top. And what we need to do is we need to actually come up here and go new. And I'm gonna go, I'll probably go with a resolution twice this, but you guys can kind of stick to this. Um, but that's gonna be, so let's double 1024. So it's gonna be 2048. So let's go 2048 by 2048. And then let's go ahead and we can probably change it to UV grid if we wanted to and go okay. And let's call this cat texture. And then you need to go image, and this is important, go save as image and then uh, save it somewhere on your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, okay? So now we need to link this up. So let's go over to our material properties. And by default, this has a material because we made it out of default cube. If it doesn't, just hit plus and create a material and then call it cat. And then we're gonna go over to the base color and let's give this a image texture. Let's come to the drop down and then get that cat texture. And now we can see we have our texture here. So make sure to save. Okay, now it's fun. So let's go over to our, up to the active tools workspace. And let's go ahead and let's grab our first color. So the first color I'm gonna lay down as a base color. So we're gonna kind of go for a yellowish kind of color like this, not too saturated, that's really important. And then we're gonna go ahead with our paint brush. Let's just go F to grow the brush. And then let's come in here and just paint all over our cat and remember that this is mirrored. So we only have to paint one side, which is really kind of cool because that saves us a lot of time as well with um, our texture painting. The only downside is that it's gonna be symmetrical exactly on both sides, but in this case, it's not gonna matter too much at all. So now we're just coming along here and just painting it with our base layer or our base color, I should say. We're not actually doing multiple layers. Um, we're just gonna be keeping this in one texture but this is just our initial coat that we're laying down, if that makes kind of sense. So just go ahead and paint it all like this. What I really could have done is just painted all of this that color or made the initial thing all that color. But for now, I don't really care. I'm just gonna go with something like this. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, fill in all those spaces and then go file and make sure to keep saving this texture as we're painting. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and let's change this to kind of like an off-white, not fully white, but kind of like an off-white. And we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna paint all the way up to here and then down like this. And we're just gonna do the bottom part of the face and cheeks. And let's come over here, just kind of do the cheeks a little bit under here, coming down and let's work our way down, coming like so. And let's go all the way down to here stopping at about this point like that. Okay, so you can see that's looking pretty good. And I might shrink my brush and just paint up here just a little bit, just sharpening it up. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here to the bottom at the belly and kind of paint over here with the white. Coming in here and around, just add a little bit of white to the cat's belly like that and then going a little bit in the bottom and to the back here and kind of coming up here like this and coming around. So just kind of something like this. Looks pretty cool. And then let's go for a nice orange color, not too saturated, something like this. And now this is kind of a really fun part. So now we're gonna come in here and paint in some straps. And before I paint, I'm just gonna take the strength, bring it down a little bit. And now let's go over here and just paint some nice kind of like stripes. Remember, this is gonna all be covered in fur, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just kind of gives us a nice base. So I'm gonna come around here, just kind of painting some stripes going around like so. And then what I might do is come over here, do the same thing, paint around there a little bit, something like here. And then let's come up here, make a nice little stripe coming over here and kind of go around, fading it to the back here. And then let's take our cat here in the back and let's just paint some nice patterns coming down. Let's do one over here, starting in the middle, kind of coming down 
Maybe just make a little one up here. Like I said, it's gonna look a lot better once this has fur over it. So it's kind of just like a base for to give the fur some color. Let's make a stripe coming down here. Like so. And then let's maybe grab, just have one coming around here. I'm just using my mouse for this, even though I have a um, graphics uh, displays tablet. I just wanna keep it really simple for you guys. And let's come over here, just paint one kind of running across the back. And then let's just do a few coming across the tail over here. So just from the top, let's just do a few like that. Okay, and let's go to the bottom and just do the same thing. Just run it around there. Doesn't have to be too fancy. Just keep it really, really basic with the texture painting. And maybe I'm just gonna go back to a nice bit of an off-white. And I'm just gonna do the tip of the tail here. Just as something a little bit different. I'm gonna just bring the strength up again. Maybe just give the tip of the tail a different kind of color. You guys can paint the cat however you want. I'm just kind of going for this kind of classic cartoony style. I might take it back to an orange like we had before. If you have to, you can just kind of get your little eyedropper and then click on the original color that you have over here. I'll just leave the strength at 100 because we did sample the one that was a little bit diluted. And let's just come over here, just make a little bit of a band around here. And let's just have one coming around here, coming around. Honestly, this doesn't have to look that good because it's gonna be covered in fur. This is kind of just a way of adding texture to the fur or a color to the fur. So this is gonna be completely covered. So it doesn't, it, it, even though it doesn't look too good now, believe me, it'll look really good once uh, we got the fur on it. So um, yeah, where else can we add some orange? Maybe bring this down. I'll just add a few up here. Bring the strength way down. Maybe paint something here. Maybe make some around here on the head. Something here. Yeah, just kind of use your imagination with this. And then we'll just do the top of the head here like this with a bit of orange coming down and back over like this. And then I'm just painting a last little bit here just to kind of blend it in. Get the orange color in here, maybe a little bit over here. And then just a little bit across the back. And then blending it in over here a little bit. And then towards the back. Make sure to save as you're going. And now let's go for a nice pink, not too saturated. And now we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna do the nose and the ear. So let's just give this nose, in fact, I'm gonna increase the strength. Let's give this nose a nice saturated pink, coming down like so. Come around here. There we go, it's looking cute. So there we have this nose. And let's go here and do the inside of the ears. Just come in here and just paint. Just do those insides. And that's about it. At this point, you guys can spend as much time as you want refining it, but I'm really gonna keep it here for now. That's um, all I wanted to do, keeping it really super simple. And um, I forgot to paint the nails here. So you could come in here and just grab a color like maybe white or gray. And then just come in here and paint over the nails if you do have nails, or if you're using the, um, the example that I provided earlier, but just something like that. But more or less, you know, like I said, keeping it really simple. Um, down here is a nail. Here's one I'll quickly paint. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. And this is what we have. So now let's just quickly also go back to our layout. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab our eyes, bring them back, and let's go into edit mode and press A to select everything. Let's just go with the smooth tool and just smooth it out a little bit like that. And in object mode, let's go right click and just go shade smooth, okay? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over to the internet 
just type in eye texture and go to your images. And then you're just gonna download an eye texture, any one you want, okay? I've already got one that I've downloaded. I have it on my desktop. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the eyes. But you can go ahead, just download any one that you like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually go and give your eye a material. You're gonna call it eye. You're gonna go to your base color, give it an image texture. And then you can go and find whichever one you've downloaded. I already have mine on my computer. You can choose from many different ones out there. And then you're just gonna go to your UV editing. Make sure you go Z and go into material preview. And then in your front view, you're just gonna go U and go project from view. And then over here, you can just grab your eye and scale it until you kind of get something that matches what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go something like that, tab back out, and now I have some eyes for my cat that are easily textured. So make sure to save as you're going. I'm gonna go back to my layout. And here we have our cat, okay? Now, like I said, this still needs fur. So this is a very rough and dirty paint job, but it's gonna get the job done. Once we add our fur, it's really gonna blend things together quite nicely and make our kitty cat look quite nice. So I'll see you guys in the next part where we're actually gonna be doing our rigging because I think it's important to do that before we get into the particles.